Right, delivery for Loz from the Lus Russian Loz bank. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Wise. <laughs> there you go. That's not fresh very nice. in, fresh in off the stands. It's not, not quite Christmas yet, though. Well, it feels like Christmas. So we went to the photography and video show the other day. We, we had a great time. We, we made a video of it. Yep, we did. We made a good video. But I went back the following day. Because at that point, I had resisted my gas. Yes, so did I. Gear acquisition syndrome. But yes, then exciting things happened. Yes, I didn't go back because I thought, I'm resisting it. I'm resisting the temptation because I was that close on the other day. Yeah. Looking at some of the show deals. But yeah. I thought, no. No, yeah, stop yeah. it. Move away. Move along. So you have to watch part one of the video right. to make sense of part two. Do you? I can't even remember part one, but go on then. Well, I haven't edited it yet. So we've just been to the photography and video show, but yeah. it was a gearhead's dream. It was. <laughs> you got your gas sorely oh, tested. Yeah. So did I. A few show deals there that you know are definitely better than the online prices, and we were like, oh. yeah. Yeah, well, so the, the main pleasure with me was having a go on the wildlife lenses, which yep. I'm never going to be able to afford. So, so that was 600? 600, 600 F4. How much? 15? 15 grand. Wow. 15,000, yeah. You, could, you, couldn't, you couldn't even sneak it out on your jacket, could you? But you could have a go at them, but you could you, do, you only have the people in front of you to have, you know, yeah. the, the, yeah, yeah. Take, you couldn't really tell if it was good or not. No, no. In those circumstances. And then the, the my lovely, lovely 402.8. Oh, the 402.8. Which doesn't look as big as I thought it would, was, actually. And Which is looks, only, is it that much different to your, I mean, it was different in terms of size and weight to your 400. 4.5? Yeah, but well, it's got a built in because it's got a built in teleconverter, which oh, is oh, okay, yeah. and it's a 2.8. But it wasn't that much bigger, but we couldn't no. tell the weights of these lenses. That no. was the problem. Because I, I had a look at the 180 to 600 and started getting excited about that, but yeah. because it's fixed to a sort of a tripod, you can't. It was, it was big, nice yeah. to use. Yeah. The zoom yeah. wasn't oh. such a, it was a nice smooth yeah. zoom, not a big throw, not like your 200 to 500 F man that no, no. <laughs> can turn five times to get yeah. from one end of the focal yeah. lens to the other. So that was really nice, but I just don't know how it the weight, would be. And like we said with my 400 review, the weight is a massive... Because I love holding... With my Z8, now I've got it back. Just holding it in one hand. I can hold it in one hand and just hold... You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's great. But so having a two kilogram lens, like the 180-600, I mean, I've been using... I've been doing a lot of wildlife, and sometimes I miss having a zoom, so you can start off wide mm. and find the subject and zoom in and zoom yeah. out again. Because you were telling me... Then you had your two times teleconverter on your 400, yeah. making 800, yeah. and there was a bird or something. You couldn't even find it in the viewfinder. No. But the, de uh, the deals are, I mean, the 180 to 600, I think it's £1,800, £1,799 online. It was yeah. £1,500 there, yeah. 300 quid cheap. Yeah, I was, I was tempted. If I had enough money at the moment, I would have got that just to try it. The Z8 was less than three and a half grand. It was 3449 yeah. at one of the... Because um, there's several three or four of the bigger shops... There, yeah. and they've all got show genuine show deals on yeah um the 100 to 400 i was thinking then ooh, that was about 2k wasn't it 2k i was thinking well what about the 100 400 because it'll be because that's yeah. an s lens yeah and the one uh 80 to 600 isn't no and it's smaller and lighter probably twice the weight kind but of it's thing, more but... expensive but you were saying you've seen things online where the 100-400 S lens mm. isn't as good as the 180-600 non-S lens. In sharpness? In sharpness. So no. That would yeah, well, make... Nick on Ricky. I'm yeah. sure Nick on Ricky's video, when he reviewed the 180-600, he did the side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah. He said... It makes sense, does it? The new lens is... When the new lens, though, Because non-S is sharp. Yeah, but the 100-400 is not old lens, is it? Well, probably a two years. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys... Do you have any views on the 100-400 to versus the 180-600? Yeah, has anybody been to the show and did they enjoy it? Did they buy anything? Yeah. There were people walking around there with bags and I think, oh, he's bought a camera and a <laughs> and, uh, He's got it in a nick on my... Was, you could just see the gearhead enthusiasm around oh. us. It was all a big club. <laughs> well, you didn't. You were so tempted. I see, I see it, sense it. And you could tell yeah. you told me, you nearly went for the Z8. Yeah. But you didn't. But you you did remind me, look, hang on for the Z6 because yeah. do I do, do I look at a few YouTube videos tonight about lenses and then rush back and pay £17.95 tomorrow and... Well, it's nothing compared to the price of a lens, is it? But it's not. You don't know You've what your heart set on the Z63. Well, so I want, don't want to say I've got my heart set on it, but I want to know. I really did, you know, the logical bit of your brain, find out what it is before. Because you're either going to buy that or the Z8. Yeah. At the minute, if I dashed off and bought the Z8 and then the Z6 Mark III comes out, mm. 
seven, eight hundred quid cheaper and would suit all my requirements. And it might yeah. even have more features. And it could be a bit lighter, smaller, slightly could or something. Could be better in low light, could yeah, be faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ricky was there. Ricky. Ricky. Ricky was there. Ricky, Ricky would know. Ricky would know, but he's not going to tell anybody. He's probably got it in his back pocket. We don't, we don't go and talk to him, though, again. He's all... No, no. But <laughs> no, he was good. really good, though. Yeah, he was doing the Nikon stand, yeah. Yeah, the Nikon presentation stand. He was talking through all his wildlife and landscape thing. It was great to see him in real life, and seems, you know, it's, it's good for him mm. doing what he's doing. Yeah. Well, he started spent... off as a YouTuber, just yeah. reviewing lenses. Is that, that before he worked for Nikon, though? Was oh, it? much like, yeah. Is yeah. it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He just had his, his back room kind of just reviewing lenses then, yeah. Nicky. I mean, I must admit that after we'd seen everything, we did walk around for another hour and a half, three mm. times, waiting for somebody to say, Russell Lodge! <laughs> no, we were standing by the Nikon stand like... <laughs> they were all going, Ricky! <laughs> so, this is now in part two. Right. Yeah, so I went back to do all the model photos and play with the gear again because mm. I loved it. Um, but so I went... I was, heading, I was trying to find my way out because I got completely lost again. It's a huge place, yeah. warehouse. Yeah, and then, we, we were struggling the other And way. all the like, photography stands kept on crossing out their prices, didn't they, even when we were yeah, there. Show prices, yep. And then I seen, and you told me to let you know of anything, if anything did great I? happens, you did. You I did, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I seen that they were crossing out the Z8. They took the board down and, and I was crossing. I thought, oh, right, they probably just finished the deal. Yeah, and sold them all. No, they okay. put a new board up. New board. And a new price. And you contacted me. Yeah. And I went, oh, no. Yeah. What well, should I do? And then you went, Yeah, I'll hold my hands up. I'll hold my hands up. Because it was 3449 when we went. Yeah. And then they knocked another £200 and off And at that. the weekend, it had been 3 6 something or 4 and because you have credit with the camera yeah, store, yeah, 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 yeah. It would take you below three thousand pound for a yeah. brand new Z8. Yeah, had to be done. Yeah. So you, thank you. Very there much. you go. You've got well, it's it's. Uh, oh, look at this presentation. My brand own. new Z8, and it's got it's got a fully working shutter curtain, apparently. Well, you haven't tried it yet, actually. No, actually, no. no. <laughs> okay. Hold your hookers. We know we you're faith. waiting for the Z63. Yeah. And But to be fair, it was such a great price. It's got to be done. It's, yeah. yeah. And I think, welcome to the future, because it's, yeah. mate, I've, since I've had mine back, I absolutely fell in love with it. I've got a computer career. masquerading as a camera. A camera, yeah. yeah. I love the engineering, and it's all just amazing. And I know you're going to have a great... I think this is a new lease of life yeah. for you with your Nikon. Because my first my Z6 model was five years old now, and I bought that at the show, the yeah. show deal, five years ago. Z63 was probably three or four years old, so yeah, I'm due. Yeah. I'm due on it. You're ready. Thank you're you. ready. Yeah, Just yeah. get sleep. Here we go. This, this Box is opening. Yeah, because YouTube, Instagram, every and Facebook loves a loves a box things, opening yeah. video, don't they? Not. I don't so, know what these things are. I think they're just weights to keep. Uh, they are, yeah, it's just to keep that flap down at the top. And then this is where we now drop it on the drop. Oh, yeah, and I blame you. There you go. Oh, look. Oh, I didn't come with the lens. Oh, right. You have to buy the lens separately, do you? No. I don't know. Look at that, though. It actually, and it's not, it doesn't feel, at that point, no, I mean, any, any much bigger than my Z6. I know it is. No, there, well, I think it's it's because the grip's so good. It is. It's beautiful. It takes beautiful. away the I mean, size no, and the weight of it. Obviously, of it. no lens on it, but I've just got to get used to having the um, dial. There's a, there's a lot to get used to. Yeah. I mean, I, to... when I first got my Z, I made a little video of it, and I was like, I didn't know where to start. It's it's quite a mm. middle. And now with the firmware updates as well, it's yeah. more. Well, the, the the camera store guy said they were expecting the Z63 announcement about two weeks ago. Right. So it's got to be imminent then. So will you be? Annoyed if they release it, no, <laughs> announce it no, next no. week or something. But like, it's not. It's going to be. It's going to be price less than this, I think, and have less features. I would have thought. Yeah. So, well, it'll be like the difference between the Z6 and the Z7. It'll have maybe slightly faster FPS or yeah. high ISO because of the megapixels. But they're so capable now. It's. Um... But I, oh no! I did. I haven't told you. I tried on the 400 2.8. On my Z8, did you? So I took because they had that that yeah, yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was quiet. I thought oh, I'll just go out and then. Yeah. So because I, I wanted to know the weight of it. Yeah. The four hundred. I put it on. Actually, holding it like this was great, but holding it up was like <laughs> started yeah. to. 
but it was an amazing, beautiful lens just to have in your hands. And yeah. So I did buy it. I was looking for a 1.4 teleconverter pro price, but they didn't reduce the prices. No deals. No, they didn't have any stock, and none of them had any stock or no. reducing price. So but there we go. Anyway, I better go because we're going to go and play with that. Yeah. That. So welcome to the future, Z8. And well, I'm filming now. Great, this is great because I've got my Z8 and my ZF both fully on all so you, haven't got, you haven't got a B camera that's completely out of focus and it's got to go in the bin we did have a comment saying we should just start again and yeah, get it all it's rubbish focus I hope, so these should be in focus now because I've left it on fully auto for the first time yeah. in all our videos well, usually I switch the cameras there yeah. and we're not going to redo it if they're not because we haven't got time we can't be bothered <laughs> so there we go see you next time indeed oh, oh so that should be a thing we need a thing oh we need a thing see you next time I think that works